Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Westinghouse 175 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. This particular bulb was bought at a restore in Tempe, Arizona for $5. So that was really cheap, if you ask me. Now, let's not waste any more time and we we'll might as well look at the etch real quick. So, I'm going to point it into some type of light as well. Or I can just point the camera on the coated phosphor so you can get a better look at it. So, here we go. You can see the Westinghouse name up there. And there's the logo. So, and there's the wattage right there. It's a 175 watt. I'm not sure what that letter F means. But if anybody knows what that means, just let me know in the comments. And there's the bulb code right beside it. HF 175 watt XR. I think that means deluxe coated. H39 is the ballast type. And there's the high intensity bulb type mercury vapor. Made in China, which is not a surprise because a lot of these bulbs these days are made in China. So there you go. There's the warning symbol of mercury right there. And there's the R means that this bulb will emit UV radiation if it breaks and this bulb isn't recyclable and it says contains mercury on the bottom it tells you that it contains mercury and that's what that symbol means so so there you go with that we'll look at the construction real quick I can show you a little bit of the construction on the bottom because the bottom is somewhat clear but the whole rest of it is coated, which kind of stinks, <laughs> considering that this is a deluxe coated mercury lamp. So you can see the arc tube as well. You can see the probe circuit right there to make it ignite, just like on a metal halide bulb. So, and there's the tip for extra support for the whole bulb assembly. So, that's the big tip, and the bulb shape type is a blown tubular 28. So, as you can see, this is a very interesting bulb shape, which is actually really cool, and it's actually the same size as a elongated dimple 28. I'll show you real quick. On the right is my Philips deluxe coated mercury lamp that I made over Christmas. So. See, they're, ex they're the exact same size, but a different type of, you know, design. So, it's really cool. So anyways, I'm going to show you the arc tube a little bit. If I point it at this daylight white CFL bulb, you can see the arc tube very well. So let's focus it. You can see the electrodes right there to produce the arc in the arc tube to produce the light. So, and there's the tip on the arc tube. And, oh my, you can see that the tip is very thick and it's in somewhat in the arc tube, you know, sh chamber as well. You can see a little bit of the arc tube tip. It's actually in the arc tube chamber, which is actually, I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Because this arc tube can rupture pretty badly, just like on a metal halide bulb. So, that's it for the arc tube. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of specifications about this bulb, and then I'll turn it on. So this bulb produces, I believe, 7,800 lumens. So it's a little weaker than my um, GE bulb and my Philips bulb that I made over Christmas. So this bulb has an average life of 24,000 hours. So that is a ridiculously long time. I believe that is about three years or something like that. So this bulb has a color temperature of 4000 K or cool white and is not dimmable because of the phosphor coating. It reduces the color temperature. So now I do believe there, this is the only type of Westinghouse mercury lamp that I could find. So um, sadly, I do not believe there is a clear version of this bulb. So. But if anybody encounters one, just let me know in the comments and I'll watch that video. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. I also forgot to mention that this bulb has a very nice 
hard aluminum base with a beautiful polished ceramic insulator as well. So, forgot to mention that. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and give this bulb a shot and we'll see how it starts up. So. I'm gonna screw it into my fixture here. And this is my first ever blown tubular 28 bulb that I'm actually going to be turning on and it's going to be posted on my channel which is very cool. So anyways, I'm going to set the camera on the ballast so we can get a good view of the whole bulb itself. I'm going to turn off this CFL bulb so we can get a better view of it turning on. So anyways, I'm going to put my welding goggles on real quick. And now we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a whirl in three, two, one. Anyway, the bulb is at full brightness and it warmed up pretty darn fast. So as you can see, you can see that it gives off a green color on camera, but in person it gives off a nice daylight white color. I almost forgot that this bulb actually was, um, I said that this was 4000K, but I sp spoke too soon. It's a little bit of 5000K as well. So as you can see, it lights up this room quite nicely in daylight white, as you can tell very there's like a very tiny amount of phosphor on that bulb anyways i really hope you enjoyed this very nice westinghouse 175 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb as always and as always please comment rate and subscribe and thank you all so much for watching